Hi guys, it's Nintendo 13 again. I'm here with a little pickup video. This was a uh, trades with a new buddy of mine. Uh, I told you about during my yard sale, I had um, one of these new guys that I've met lately uh, traded me some stuff. I got some uh, Atari 2600 and 5200 games from him. Well, uh, we've been hanging out and talking back and forth and working out some deals. And uh, he traded me some Atari goodness. Uh, I was very, very, very excited about this. I wanted to get this video out here. Um, that way I can get this stuff put away and clean up my room a little bit. But I guess we'll get right to it. I'm going to start off with uh, you know, the lesser stuff. But I got a 2600. I did not have one. Um, I did a while ago, but I was still in need of one. Um, unfortunately, it does have some damage to the box, but that's okay. It doesn't affect anything. Um, I am missing the power cord for it right there. I'm missing the power cord, so you know that's why I didn't really do him any good. And I'm not gonna sit here and try to throw something on that wasn't made for it. So I'll just order one and. Uh, get this going but I thought that was pretty decent to be able to play some of the games in my collection then I got some controllers with it I got this um, analog stick right here I only got one of those I got one standard joystick everything seems to be working just fine on it pretty decent condition and and I also got two paddles. And these also seem like there's no reason they wouldn't work. Um, it says Gemini. I wonder if that was aftermarket for them. Um, the paddles that I got that were Sarah's dad's, those said Atari. So maybe these are just aftermarket. That's fine. I don't care. Then I got a stack of games. I'll run through these really quick. Um, because I don't believe there's anything really special. Uh, we got a copy of Sky Jinx, Super Breakout, uh, Super Challenge Baseball, um, Maze Mania, a game of cops and robbers, Galaxian, yep, uh, Defender. Chopper Command, uh, Combat, Carnival. I like these different colored, different shape cartridges. I think they just make the collection look a little nicer. Canyon Bomber. And none of these are in you know, wonderful condition, but I really don't care. You know, it's just about boosting up my Atari collection because I didn't have uh, much for it. Um, thought this was kind of neat. Is this the one? No, that's not the one. I do have another copy of Super Breakout. This one's actually like really clean though. Really clean copy. I do have another one in here that really caught my eye. Oh well. I don't know what it is now. Apparently it wasn't anything special. Uh, I got Surround and uh, Two Tankum. And I got, uh, yeah, this is the one. This is the one that I thought was a little weird. I got two copies of Video Pinball, but they're variants on the label. You know, you got right down here the the different spots where the logos are, and I don't know. I'm sure it's nothing special. You got different writing up here, but I thought it was kind of neat. The end labels are both the same, though. So I'll probably keep both of those just because they're different. Uh, let's see, I got Star Master and River Raid. This one I saw is uh, pretty hard to find, and that's Real Sports Boxing. One of the worst games on the system, Pac-Man. Uh, Missile Command and Kaboom. And then the last stack right here, 
I got actually a good one, Miss Pac-Man. Air Sea Battle. Another good one, Asteroids. Another copy of Asteroids. Astro Blast. Basketball. And my favorite, well, one of my favorite 2600 games on the system, you know, whatever, uh, Frogger. Uh, somebody, I think, opened it or just played with it, but whatever. I don't really care. Uh, as soon as I get a power cord for those, that will be thrown on, and I'm definitely going to check out the game, starting with MASH, of course. That one I definitely want to play. Okay, that was the end of the 2600, and uh, I thank you, Joe. I know you're probably watching this. Thank you so much for all the trades that we've been doing and that we will continue to be doing because this is awesome. Okay, this is the the piece that um, it was a little pricey, but well worth it in my eyes. Um, we worked out a good deal. He's already got a GameCube that he needed for his collection, a stack of PS1 and PS2 games that he really wanted, and... Um, I'm going to hook him up with a Wii and some games for that. And in exchange, I got one of my most sought-after consoles. I mean, the only thing that would be better than this for me would be a Turbo Graphics. But this is something that I've wanted for a long, long time. Never had one. And that is a Jaguar. So, so happy to have this. Unfortunately, I don't have a controller for it. That's the only piece that I'm really missing because it just takes a standard um, uh, RF switch and it'll take a Model 1 Genesis um, AC, which I already have. I already have that plug, I already have this. We've already popped a game in and tested it and it works perfect. I just wish that I had a controller for it. I want to play this so bad. I never was a fan of Atari. But that was one of the systems that um, I knew two rich kids that had that and one that had a Turbo Graphics, and it, everybody at school was always jealous of them. But anyway, with that, I got a stack of games. And these range from the, the crappy ones in the system, which the lineup only has 53 games for the standard cart-based. I don't know how many disc-based there are, but I don't have a Jaguar disc. So anyway... Um, I'm going to show these 10 games and then uh, my video will be done. So, I have Iron Soldier. It was nice to get a fifth of the collection all in one swoop too. That's pretty awesome. Got Cybermorph. So, without even me knowing about it, I have a new collection that I'm shooting for. And it's one that I really never figured that I'd end up with. Checkered Flag. And it's not bad to get some of the crap games out of the way. Kasumi Ninja. I thought this was pretty decent. Alright, here. It's rated M. That long ago, and it was still... I guess it, it was around the time of the 64. It didn't add 94. So, I mean, Conker's got it. Why can't that one? It was still pretty neat. And then we get to... Uh, uh, let's see. I War. That seems to be a pretty decent one. We got Hover Strike. And then four of the ones that I was absolutely drooling over. Uh, these are some of the highlights to the collection. We got Pitfall, the Mayan Adventures. This is supposed to be a really good version on par with the, the Super Nintendo one, which was pretty decent, but I heard this one's the best one. And then we got a copy of Flip Out. I'm very excited to give that one a shot. A buddy of mine that had a system, he had this game back in the day. And uh, I wasn't allowed to play it, but I could watch him play. So that's fine, though. Uh, and then these two, these two right here are very, very good ones. I was, these are a couple that would have been hard for me to get in my collection if they didn't start off here. We got a copy of Zool 2. Have not played it, have not seen it, but... I, uh, from what I'm told, it's a really good one to have. And then the best one out of this 
Um, <laughs> this is definitely the highlight of my new Jaguar collection. We have Attack of the Mutant Penguins. That one just looks so awesome. I saw some gameplay on it, and I want to play it so bad. So, I figure, you know, if worse comes to worse, then, you know, I'll have to get some PayPal from eBay and go off and buy a controller. I think they're going for like 30 bucks. But I'm very excited to finally have that in my collection. Not to mention this big old stack of games that I did find a home for. I'm rearranging my game room right now. And yeah, I uh, was not expecting to add these things to my collection. You know, I, I never really thought that I was going to get into 2600 unless I came across them really cheap. And I did. And Jaguar was something that... Yeah, it was a pipe dream. So, it just turned out that he had something I wanted, and I was able to come up with stuff that he wanted. So, I'm very, very excited. I'm very happy to share with you guys and let you know about it. And Other than that, I have absolutely no pickups for this weekend, and that's okay. I, I have other things going on right now, and my focus is on other stuff. So, that's really cool. I don't need to be hunting every weekend. So that's why I want to throw this little video out there just to get this wrapped up for the week. And I guess other than that, I will probably just talk to you guys next week. So in the meantime, take care. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And stick around for more. Thanks, guys. Bye.